Complex life on Earth started during the Ediacaran period, uh, which lasted from about 635 million years ago to about 541 million years ago. Um, the landscape during this time was dominated by algae, and there were the first animals like the stationary Dickinsona that would have absorbed nutrients directly from the seafloor. Eventually, worm-like animals um, started to appear and they quickly started to burrow into the ground and this softened the sediment and made way for more complex animals to start to evolve. Now after this happened, we quickly got into the Cambrian explosion at about 540 million years ago and when this occurred, along with it came the first arthropods. Now some of the very earliest arthropods which today include things like shrimp, crabs, uh, lobsters, spiders, all the insects. Um, but the very first arthropods included an apex predator that was the first apex predator on Earth. Its name was Anomalocaris. Now, Anomalocaris started right at the beginning at 540 million years ago and existed to about 480 million years ago in the Ordovician. It had complex eyes that were great for seeing, and it was a very active hunter. Hello, I'm Aaron, and this is the first video from Create TV. And today we're answering the question, can you bring the first apex predator back to life? And of course, that first apex predator is Anomalocaris. Now, the short answer is no, you cannot bring Anomalocaris back to life because we don't have any DNA. But what we can do is we can create a lifelike model like what you see here out of soft plastic, soft PVC, using a mold like this and a sculpture that we made. And then we can kind of recreate a lifelike swimming action and model that will kind of bring back the feel of this. So this is life size. And we also made some of his prey. And what you can see is I've put a magnet. You'll see me do that in the video in his head and in, in this case, the worm. So he can pick that up. And then I've also done the same on this one. Kind of, this is the stunt double, I guess where you can pick up the soft trilobite here, and then they can sit there and do their action. So again, this is the first video, so I hope you enjoy it, but please feel free to feedback and comment on ways that we can improve, because here at Create TV, we just want to try to make enjoyable videos, and I know it's a steep learning curve. The people who do this professionally are excellent, and they're experts, and I'm just a rookie trying. So hopefully you get something from this and enjoy. Okay. So this is a cast of Anomalocaris, and you know, this is off the e it's pretty accurate. But I also have a couple of really interesting real life fossils. So down here, you can see that these are the actual grasping claws of this early arthropod. So this thing would be an arthropod, and these are what the real ones look like. Now obviously I don't have a complete one because these are actually really, really hard to come by. So I feel pretty lucky that I even have just two of them like this. And then this would be its natural prey, a real trilobite, a contemporaneous trilobite. So these two actually would have been interacting. Um, and these are real fossils 100%. But you can see, you know, in my version here, I've sculpted kind of an exaggerated monster because I wanted to try to make sure I can really scoop him up. But you see how this guy does have these long bars to the other one here. So I went ahead and put those in. And then his mouth 
this is interesting. You know, in the back, they would have had this circular mount, and they sometimes find those here. Um, they're really neat. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get all these set up and um, show you guys how I sculpted these, and then we'll go ahead and pour them into a soft plastic. Okay, just going to introduce the cast. This is an example of one of the Anomalocaris um, molds that came out, and I'm just going to go through their different actions. This one has balsa wood up in the eyes, so its head should float back up. This is the dude, the original, that I based my sculpture on. This is probably what I would say is the star. I got a really nice pour. Um, and beautiful eyes of a different color. Just really nice, yeah. I guess this is his partner in crime. the worms. The early days of the Cambrian explosion were mostly peaceful. You had simple worms and algae and everything pretty much lived in peace because there were no real super predators. However, it didn't take long for the first arthropods to evolve. And these early arthropods were called Anomalocaris. Now these guys were very good at hunting. 
They were the first apex predators. And it, early on, I'm sure it was just picking up and eating the worms like crazy. Just like in any other arms race, new modes of action develop in the arthropods. And through time, they became more and more mobile moving around the ground like these soft-bodied trilobites. They were able to move, but were they quick enough? They were probably able to move, but not quick enough to escape the anomalocaris. So the arms race continued to escalate. These soft body trilobites developed into hard trilobites that had strong exoskeletons and they were more immune. They still got got by Anomalocaris sometimes, but they were more of a tricky catch so they often survived. As the arms race continued, more and more mobile animals thrived, and the life diversity increased and increased through time. The first vertebrates emerged with big eyes that could detect when an anomalocaris was coming. These animals had the ability to swim quickly and evade an attack. The early vertebrates had much larger brains and they were able to do group behavior like swim in schools to avoid predators. It's easy to envision an anomalous caris chasing after a fish and unable to catch it as the fish darts and moves around quickly in and out of the view. And then eventually the anomalocaris would just give up and go after the most easy prey it can find and catch it and then off it would go into the sunset eating. And you can sort of imagine as we close out here the anomalocaris really strongly preferring to eat the easiest prey. And that's why these soft body trilobites even faster than the hard body trilobites that were very successful, went extinct fast. And I think also ironically, um, it was an arthropod, um, a sea scorpion, um, a eurypterid, and probably some early fish that eventually beat out anomalocaris. So in ecology, it's a constant arms race. Who can be the fastest? Who can who can be the best hunter and just because you are one day doesn't mean that you are forever all right